Hey everybody, Brandon here, a little frustrated. This is a sort of a, an out of nowhere video. I thought you guys might think this is entertaining. I have an audition uh, for something. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what, but it's, it involves an office environment. Um, I have an audition in two and a half hours and I need to look like, you know, like a you know, button down shirt, nice pants, and a tie, you know, like an office wardrobe. And my problem is that I never learned how to tie a tie. I mean, I sort of did. I can do like a half wince or not, but I do it all backwards and it looks real crappy. Like, once I finish it up, it looks like that. See, look at this. Just look at this. I need. I need the Windsor nut. This is not big enough at all. What I found is a website called www.tieatie.net, and uh, this slightly European fellow is he's made a series of YouTube videos teaching people how to tie a tie. So I've been following this website. I've been watching the How to Tie a Windsor Knot video for like 20 minutes, and I still can't get the hang of it. And I thought it'd be really funny if I just filmed my frustration for you. So, without further ado, I'm going to start the video at the very beginning. Okay. I'll show you animations first and the real thing. All images are mirror images. I exactly want to use in the mirror. Okay. Mirror images. It seems easy enough, right? Welcome to the Tie Knot video series. In this video, we're going to cover the Windsor Knot. Okay. The Windsor Knot is a thick wide and triangular tie knot that projects confidence. <laughs> it will be your knot of choice for presentations, job interviews, courtroom appearances and the like. The triangle is the, the shape best of confidence. Suited for spread collar shirts. Let's go through this knot step by step. Okay. Start with the wide end of your tie on the right, extending about 12 inches below the narrow end on the left. Kind then of cross the wide end of the narrow end. Okay. Bring the wide end up through the loop between the collar and your tie. Then back down. back down. Pull the wide end underneath the narrow end and to the right, back through the loop and to the right again, what the, what the so that the wide end what is loop? inside out. Shit. Bring the wide end across the front from right to left. Then pull the wide end up through the loop again. The loop. Bring the wide end down through the knot in front. And, using both hands, tighten the knot carefully and draw up to the collar. Let's go through the Windsor knot once more. Oh. Start with the wide end of the tie. Hold right. on. Pause button. See, the animation doesn't help because you don't see any movement. This should make it simpler since he's moving around and it's like I'm looking at myself in the mirror. Only I'm a, I'm slightly thinner and I'm European. Extending about 12 inches. Extending about 12 inches. On the left. On the left, okay. Then, cross the wide end over the narrow end. Okay. I got that. Bring the wide end up through the loop. Through the loop. Between your collar and your tie. Between your collar and your tie. Then back down. Then back down. Pull the wide end underneath the narrow end to the right. Wait, wait, wait. Back through the loop. Through the loop that was just made, okay. And to the right again. So that the wide end is inside out. Inside out, okay. Next. Okay, it's inside out. Bring the wide end across the front from right to left. Wait a minute, it's twisted. And while doing that, make sure your hands form a little bridge. Okay. Then, wait, pull wait, the wide up. And move again. Bring the wide wait, end wait, down. Wait, 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 rewind, rewind. I made the bridge, pulled it over. Then, pull the wide end up, through the loop again. Up through the loop again. Bring the wide end down, through the knot in front. Through the loop in front. I swear! And, using both hands, adjust the knot carefully, and draw it up. To the collar. Perfect. I swear I'm doing it right. Maybe the, the tie's too thin. I don't know. I'm gonna 
try another tie. Hold on. All right. This is not the tie I want to wear, but whatever, if this will help me learn. Okay. <sighs> Clean slate. I'm not joking, by the way. I, this is, like, I'm doing it the way he says I'm supposed to be doing it, and I get... Okay. All right, I'm gonna skip the animation because that didn't help last time. I'll skip right to my alter ego. Okay. To the color. Let's go through the Windsor note once more. Let's go through the Windsor note. Start with the widening of the entire right, extending about 12 inches below the narrow end on the left. Is that 12 inches? Yeah, sure. And then cross the wide end over the oh. narrow end. Bring the wide end up, up through the loop between the collar and your tie, then back down. Okay. Pull the wide end underneath the narrow end to the right. Narrow end to the right. Back through the loop. Through the loop that was just made. And to the right again. Wait, wait, so wait, wait. The wide end is inside out. The part always gets me. Next. Bring the wide end across the front, from right to left. And while doing that, make sure your hands form a little bridge. Forming a bridge. Then, pull the wide end up, through the loop again. I bring the wide end I don't have enough tie left through the knot in front to do this. Adjust the knot carefully and draw it up to the collar. Should I do my audition like this? You think this would be okay? You think this is maybe maybe this is right for the character? You think maybe uh, maybe the character's retarded? I had my own little bit of method acting. Frustrated. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I guess I'll just do my uh, my shitty knot and uh, do the audition like that. Ugh. Maybe my character doesn't know how to tie a tie. I could work that in. <laughs>